Hi Cancer. Welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is your February 2017 reading. I want to take a moment to thank everyone who has subscribed and emailed me and had readings by me and who liked my videos. I believe as of today I reached 6,000 subscribers and I started in May. So I want to take a moment also to thank those people who, when I first started out and gave me feedback, helped me to continue on forward because this spiritual black path has been a blessing thanks to everyone who has sent such positive energy my direction. Um, I can't say enough except to get my mind back on these cards. So. Thank you for letting me be the one to pull the guidance from the divine and to be able to translate it, the energies for you through the mat, through the cards. Um, I cleared the cards and prayed over the cards and blessed the cards with my stones. And I'm looking at a lot of stuff here. It was really a confusing read. So we're going to see if we can uh, pull it all together here. All right. So starting out with career. Finance and love, or finance and career. The current energies at this time or in the recent near past or future, there is some curiosity about something you're unaware of. You feel like there are things going on at work that you are unsure of or worried about that you would like to know more information about. Now, the card crossing that was the page of wands. So this is messages at work. Maybe the angels are telling you, hey, you got to reach out and you got to send some messages and say there's got to be some changes here or I need to know more about what's going on with this. You know, what do our benefits cover? Whatever, something like that. Um, or somebody's going to yell out to you and say, hey, you know, come over here. I'm going to give you some information. And actually, this Eight of Wands I usually see is a lot of energy coming in real or messages coming in real fast. Well, maybe energy because it's a fast energy. It's you're wanting to do something quickly. And in that process, you're going to have some, to let something go because this is the death card at the uh, foundation. In the recent past, everything was going well at work. Everybody was moving along like a well-oiled machine. And then you got questions and concerns. And then you had some sort of connection. Uh, email information, somebody communicated, you started thinking quick. In the near future, you have the magician card. So this is saying that you have the ability and the magic. You have the energies of all four elements and you are going to create something with that. You're going to want to move quickly. You're going to have the, the knowledge coming in and the um, connections that you need to have in February. Um, the What you have control over card is the Knight of Wands. So this is you setting goals, making lists, you know, five things you need to do on that day and crossing them off as you do them each day, setting goals and getting those goals done by the proper due date. Um, someone around you is considering offering you either a position or a raise in the same position, adding more tasks. They're thinking about stuff like that. And uh, yeah, are either way going to offer you some kind of boost because they see that you've been working like the magician quickly and accurately and you've been connecting. So good thing to know for February. Your thoughts are on, oh, I feel stuck here. I feel like I'm not gonna get any more, more money and I have to cling to the money that I have. So I'm just gonna sit here and cling to it. But that, what that does now, what you think of is what you create. If you were tossing money around and, and giving it to charity and doing all the other things with your money and not clinging so tight to it, things would come towards you. But because you are tight, you like put stagnant energy around you and you cannot let energy in or move forward and go out of that area. So change your thinking. In fact, ironically, over in this Celtic cross reading, in the same position, you receive the playfulness card. What does that say? To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So, regardless of the romance part, open yourself up, be playful in February. All right, so the outcome card is the 
star card. So now you've had time to think. You've had time to do your magic. You've let something go. You're getting this energy. Somebody is speaking to you about some opportunities. And you're going to race in and maybe grab an opportunity or start setting those goals and just getting things done on time. You won't have to think like you have to hold everything on to everything tight because it, in February you have the star card, which means uh, something you have been manifesting or hoping for, which you can't do in this train of thought, is this. You know, say it three times every day or look at yourself in the mirror and say, I'm going to achieve being the CEO. I'm going to take this information and I'm going to write up some ideas and I'm going to have more meetings and connect with people and communicate and make things happen is what I'm hearing. I see a contract. I see the Wheel of Fortune moving forward. Maybe something that's been discussed in the past that you're bringing back up that can add to something that's already been created is what I'm getting. Yeah, the star is right below the Wheel of Fortune card moving forward. So... And that speaks of hard work. All right, so in the love uh, general reading, the card representing now is the very soon card. So clearly decide what it is you want in your love life or your general life. Maybe you want to change things up and start doing something differently. The angels are saying, yep, head towards it. Get on that. Don't just sit and wonder about what it is you want to achieve, just like with work. Get up and get on it. Uh, true love card is on top of that card. This is the romance of a lifetime. You are waiting. <laughs> waiting, pausing, thinking, trying to decide. Maybe you are wanting to hurry up and jump and head towards someone and the angels are kind of making you feel like wait. And wait is common right now because Mercury is in retrograde until the end of January. So, you know, February would be a good time. Maybe if you feel like you should wait a little longer and observe more, go ahead. You could, you could be end of February from what I've been noticing. What is on your thoughts or have been or should be or maybe you don't even aren't aware of is that someone is worth waiting for. Maybe some of you are thinking, if you're single, maybe divine timing is working in my life. I just need to keep praying and manifesting, and the Lord will present it to me. And those of you who are manifesting know that you have the ability to clarify what it is that you want divine timing to help you with at this time. So, I just hear manifest, 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 manifest. Okay. So pray every day, think about it every day, think good things about it, draw pictures of it, whatever you have to do. Your foundation card says you deserve love. You are lovable. Look at Cupid. Cupid's lining up for those of you who are single. And with that card came the Wheel of Fortune. Karma. Cupid and karma is at your foundation. In the recent past, maybe there was someone you knew before, but you were unsure of. So maybe you're taking a look right now. You're waiting and wondering, is this a true love? The angels are saying you need to decide and then eventually race towards that when you see that divine timing has opened up a great opportunity. Know that you deserve love and the angels are saying that your karma is going well. When I say well, I'm also thinking of people who don't force the energy because that isn't even though we don't have that card here. Know you're lovable and know that the wheel is turning on its own and it'll eventually get there. And I think that combines in with these other ones worth waiting for, divine timing. So moving forward, we have the boom, make the effort card. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Here you are. You've got your big cup of love. You're dipping your foot in the water. You're ready to move forward in the near future what you have control over though it may not feel like it is finances and career i'm sorry about the uh, light coming in the card says financial issues are a factor in your love life you have control over how much you're going to let issues worries and concerns from work interfere in you being able to enjoy yourself your money whatever brings you peace joy and contentment now Someone around you 
is going to return from your life from the past. Maybe it's a water sign like some of you, not all of you, because I'm reading a number of energies. A water sign. Pisces, Cancer, like yourself, or Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or, fem or female, of course. What's on your mind or should be on your mind is playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. And there you are, going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Same position in the other reading. Holding on to that money, going back and forth and back and forth over the playfulness card. Be playful. Let the money thing work its out. Things happen when we're gone doing something else. And then why not enjoy your life where you're doing something else? Your outcome card is the soulmate. Yes. Walk away from that which no longer serves you. Head on to a new path. For some of you, this can be represented as a path you've been going back and forth to and from that you've been wondering about. So, depending on your circumstances. Now, I did a, a confirming layout over here with the Rider weight card. Well, first I'll say these things up here. The, confir the confirming romance angel cards I pulled for the Celtic cross reading here is maybe there were some issues in a relationship Whereas two people had two different opinions on the same subject. And I think this had to do with the past for some of you. And you couldn't see their perspective and they couldn't see yours. And you went into a deep wondering if this was the, the uh, relationship of a lifetime. But the angels are saying flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. So whether you're being playful and single, whether you're going back to a relationship, you are being told to be playful and to flirt. Control issues. Let go of them. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Again, when the wheel turns, you deserve love. So you're starting out fighting over a decision, trying to get straight to the point. Maybe trying to connect from someone from your past, or they connected with you and you were unsure. Could also some of you be receiving messages from a, an air sign. Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Looks like they may have a nice comfortable house, long-term job, sitting pretty well. You're worried about whether or not you're offering love to the devil. <laughs> that's what I see. Concerned. Maybe that's the darkness card. But the card in the middle here is you wanting to offer love, just worried about someone you're offering it to and whether or not you understand them fully and you're on the same page. Looking at what was in the past that you're leaving behind, but knowing that there is something great and waiting for a message. And the messages were all over the place because then I run into an earth sign. So for others of you, single and wondering, we had the page of cups. So hearing from somebody who is, well, just offering love. Then we have the queen of pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, sun, moon, or rising. Then we have bickering and fighting. And then we have you feeling stuck. And then we have an Aquarius friend, or better than that, who's an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, Sun, Moon, or Rising. So next, it showed this card. So I'm wondering if some of you are letting a relationship go at the time they're meeting someone who could be. We saw a water sign here. We saw air sign, which I'm leaning towards a lot. And now we're starting to see a pentacle sign. So somebody's going to get the short end of the stick. Make sure you're doing what's right in the right, most positive ways before you start a new path so your karma is good. And of course, now I saw a fire sign with a happy and a yes for some of you. Traveling to get to know someone. I think no on the fire signs for February. Not all of you, but those of you who have been wondering, maybe wait until the energies change next month in March. Well, March. Okay, and the final one was you wondering, is this a bunch of baloney? So 
or some of you, wondering, and it had to do with this person who is an earth sign Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. If there's a new path in love, going within to figure out if it is or not and finding out that that is a very beautiful relationship that sets you free, that makes you feel beautiful and young. Lots of messages, and I'm thinking I'm picking up a lot of people or else somebody is getting really busy. Just kidding. All right, so, dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please bless me with those messages for those who are born under the sign of cancer for the month of February 2017. All right, an illusion of being trapped. A lack of self-confidence. So if you're alone, know that someone is worth waiting for. If it's an earth sign, divine guidance, divine timing is at work. The angels are saying you deserve love and want you to know that the wheel of fortune is turning. You will be making an effort in the near future of offering your love, even though your thoughts may be on work. Next card. A contented and rewarding family life. Your emotional and material needs are, needs are met. Trustworthy relationships. And the final one. So, okay, we've got a ten of water. Now we have the queen of water. Tender-hearted, empathetic, patient, patient and loving. Relationships develop to a new level. Trust your intuition. Care for yourself and others. So, that could be you opening up your heart like we said. Great love is worth taking the steps. Open up your heart. Decide how much you're going to let career and finances interfere in your happiness. Somebody may want to reconcile that is a water sign. Maybe because they see you have your mind on an air sign for some of you. You need to remain playful and let this decision go for a while. Let the universe take control of that because over there you have a star. You're going to make a wish and the Wheel of Fortune is also there saying you will sign a contract. Soulmate is your outcome card. Time to walk away. Yes, there's heartache involved sometimes. But know at the end of this Celtic cross reading, with the earth sign, those of you who are wondering about an earth sign in February, everything goes well there. Woo, lots of messages. Flirt and be playful in February. Work out things or work through things that you don't understand, either from the past in a relationship or currently at work. Open up, make a list of things you want to accomplish. Open your heart in romance and let the decisions that someone else is making not be a part of your concern at this time. Give to charity, because charity gives back positive energy and helps you to move forward with money and make a wish because we see a soulmate coming if you just would leave some stuff behind. Okay, <laughs> Archangel Uriel, this is your final card and it's from the Messages from Your Angels Doreen Virtue Oracle Card Deck. Your emotions are healing, so emotions need to heal. That's what we were talking about back here. Make the effort. Open your heart, let things go. Because there will be a greater love. The angels are helping you to release anger and unforgiveness. Be it at work and people not liking that you need to move forward or you're getting an opportunity, which I don't see so much. I see the forgiveness happening in a past relationship. If some of you just, it didn't work out, know that there are good things coming. So if some of you are feeling down, which I do see a lot of lit up cards, so I'm really hoping that this is going to be it looks like a bright and sunny February. Archangel Uriel is with you. If you're feeling down and out, 
If you're feeling up for some fun, now is the time in February. Connect, buy some chocolates, and oh, happy Valentine's Day. Thank you for coming to me, Josie K, for your February 2000 reading. I'm available at my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer $20 text readings, which are about six to nine paragraphs, or a $30 video reading, which is very popular. I attach the video to your email. You click on it and watch it. I use PayPal, which is like an electronic cash machine that you put your debit and credit card in and that notifies me when your payment's complete. I process your reading and that's it and that's all. Thank you so much again for those of you who've been connecting with me and for those of you who are new. I hope to see you again in March. Take care, happy Valentine's Day, and God bless.